Hey guys, it's Reagan, and I thought it would be kind of fun. I don't know, because I just moved in, like, oh, you know, about five minutes ago. Finished setting everything up to film for you guys a dorm slash bookshelf dorm tour. You know, I thought it might be fun. So this is my really crappy held up intro, but okay, I hope you like it. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Literally. Okay, so I figured I would start by showing you the evacuation map. And so basically, turning around, there's me in the mirror. This is what it looks like going into my dorm. So kind of stepping forward, we have the closet. Yay! So that side over there is my roommate's side, so I'm not really going to focus on that. And this side, hidden here, is mine. You know, you got your necessary flannel shirts and fun blouses. And I got my shoes up there, got my Doc Martens and my Creepers and some laundry, mango tango laundry detergent, it's always needed, and my acid wash backpack, gotta love it. And then down there I just have more storage and some shoes, not all that book related. Moving on to the actual dorm, I have a welcome mat of sorts. In here is just kind of the bathroom, I'm not really going to show that because it's just a bathroom. Going in here, walking, 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 that's my dorm roommate side. And this is my side, so kind of getting a wide angle shot here, kind of get a see, so I will now get closer. So this is my desk, got my pewter, I got my 3DS right over there, and I got a little like makeup station in my room key. But yeah, so I have this nifty little thing that has all my lipsticks in it, and I got this mirror, you know, see my face. And then I kind of hung my jewelry up on these like command hooks. And I also used, ow, I hit my head. And I also used this little cool thing to hang up some necklaces and such. Now moving up, it's kind of difficult. It's kind of difficult for me to show you guys my bed because it's all the way up there. And I get up there by climbing up this, that. Which I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of afraid I'm going to die. Now let's move on to the bookshelf part, because I feel like that is what you guys want to see. So here are the books I've brought to college. So, you know, I've already made a video on this, but I you know I have, like, The Diviners by Liva Bray. In the After by Dimitero Lunetta. Maggie Steve Otter's The Raven Boys. Prodigy by Marie Lu. Star Curse by Jessica Spotswood. Siege and Storm by Leah Bardivago. The Friday Society by Adrian Kress. And Insurgent by Veronica Roth. And then I also have, putting my sunglasses out of the way, I have The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Rosafon and Partials by Dan Wells, and also the sixth Harry Potter book by J.K. Rowling. And down here are my textbooks, and I've actually had a few requests to kind of show them to you, so I guess I will. The first couple are for my undergraduate studies class, which is required at the university I'm at, and that is Tales of the Trojan War, so I have to read a lot of Trojan War literature, obviously. So I have the Iliad by Homer. Wow, that looked good. Then I have In Search of the Trojan War by Michael Wood. I have The Trojan War, this tiny little book, cost me $10, welcome to college. And I also have The Trojan War, Literature and Legends from the Bronze Age to the Present. I am really excited for this class as a history person, very excited. And then I also have my cultural anthropology book, which I'm taking a cultural anthropology class, as well as my physical anthropology book, because I'm taking a physical anthropology class, if you've guessed it. And lastly, this is my loose-leaf German textbook, which I haven't put in that binder yet, because my language I'm taking is German. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that was just a quick little tour of my dorm room. I hope that entertained you. So, this is where I'm going to be, and this will probably be the background you will see, kind of something like, I don't know, let me see here. Sit down. Like this, this will be the background you will see. How exciting. They actually won't see it, because I have pre-photo a lot of it, so you're probably not going to see this background for a while, but it will be the one you will see. So stay tuned. Okay.